Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, I'm answering now question number 10 from the January 2022 International A-Level Pure Mathematics P1 paper. And this question here is about this curve called C, y equals 1 over x squared minus 9. And we're asked to sketch the graph of C. Now, this is a type of curve which is called a reciprocal curve because x is in the denominator. Right? X is in the denominator, which means there are certain values of x which cannot go into this into this equation because it will cause it to be undefined. So whenever the denominator becomes zero, this will be undefined. So we know for sure x cannot equal zero, which means therefore x equals zero is going to be an asymptote. And it's called an asymptote. Okay, so x equals zero is definitely going to be an asymptote. Now what does one over x squared looks like? What does it look like? So let's have a look. Let's make a little sketch on the side here of 1 over x first. We, we should all know what 1 over x looks like. Um, the graph 1 over x has this type of shape when x is positive. And on this side, when x is negative, it goes like that. Okay. Now, 1 over x squared, the, when x is negative, y will always be positive. If you're thinking about just 1 over x squared first without the minus 9. When x is, for example, minus 1, y is going to be plus 1. Okay, if it was 1 over x like this, then when x is minus 1, y would also be minus 1. That's why it goes down here. So when you have y equals 1 over x squared, then what it looks like is basically something like this. Okay, so when x is 0, y is uh, Well, x can't be 0, sorry. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is um, minus 1, y is also plus, plus positive 1. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is minus 2, y is also 4, and so on. So it's going to be symmetrical about this. So you have an asymptote, which is x equals 0, because x can be equal to 0. And you have another asymptote, which is y equals 0. If, if I try to solve this equation, and I put y equals 0, I'll have 0 equals 1 over x squared. I try to solve that, I'll end up with 0 equals 1, which is doesn't make sense. So y equals 0, which is the x-axis, is also an asymptote. So you have an asymptote, and x equals 0, and another asymptote, and y equals 0. Oops. Another asymptote on y equals 0. So it looks something like this. That's an asymptote there, and that's an asymptote on that side. Now, what we have is 1 over x squared minus 9. So what's happened to this graph here is it's like if you consider um, y being f of x, then we can say that 1 over x squared minus 9 would be f of x minus 9, which is a translation of nine units vertically. It's outside the function. So it's like the, the asymptote which is at zero is going to go down to negative nine. So the whole graph is going to drop by nine units. So it's going to drop by nine units. So it's going to look something like this instead. So it'll have the same type of shape, but dropping nine units down. So that's actually what it looked like, where this is equal to, this is actually the asymptote, y equals minus nine. This is the asymptote on the vertical asymptote x equals zero and it crosses the x-axis in these two places which we'll work out so that's just an idea of how we go about trying to think about the sketch of this graph now i'm going to draw it properly over here so you have your y and x-axis um, as i said there's an asymptote at minus nine We've just gone through y, it's at minus 9. So the asymptote down here at minus 9. And of course, this is an asymptote as well, which is the, the x-axis. So here you have, sorry, the y-axis. The y-axis, which is x equals 0. And this is the x-axis. And this is y equals negative 9. And this asymptote is x equals 0. And the graph will look something like this. should be symmetrical on the other side. Let me try and make it a bit better than that. It has that type of shape. So this is y equals 1 over x squared minus 9. What's left for us to find are these places where it crosses the x-axis. So it crosses the x-axis, the x-axis when y equals 0. So when y equals 0, let me just put the working for this down here. No 
Okay, so when y equals 0, you have 1 over x squared minus 9 equals 0. If we multiply everything by x squared, we're left with 1 minus 9x squared equals 0. So you can say 9x squared equals 1. So x squared equals 1 over 9. Therefore, x is going to be the square root of 1 over 9, which is going to be plus or minus 1 over 3. So basically, these are the two points, 1 third and minus 1 third where this graph crosses the x-axis. So here we have, let me just try to neaten, make this a bit neater because that looks a bit strange there. It shouldn't go like that. You should try and make it look a bit more realistic. So it should go something like this. It doesn't go back on itself like that. Okay, it doesn't go back on itself like that either. So I'm just making it look a bit neater. Something like that. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so that's the curve. Y equals 1 over x squared minus 9. Now we're going to go on to part B. Okay, now for part B, it says the curve D has equation Y equals KX squared, where K is a constant. Given that C meets D at four distinct points, find the range of possible values for K. So Y equals KX squared. Y equals KX squared. Now this is a um, <coughs> parabola which goes through the origin. It can either be this shape if k is greater than 0, or it can be this shape if k is less than 0. All right. Now, if you think about this, if we draw a parabola here that goes through the origin, if it's got this shape, it's only ever going to meet this curve in two places. It's never going to hit it in more than two places. It's not possible for that to happen. So it looks like k cannot be positive. It cannot be positive. However, if it has this shape, you can see that it's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 intersections. We can see that there will be 4 intersections. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it seems that k must be definitely less than 0. But... K can't be such that it goes like this. It has to be a bit wider than that. So we've got to find what values of K will cause this to have four solutions. Okay, so what we can do is we can take the equation, which is Y equals, we've got the two equations, Y equals 1 over X squared minus 9, and we have Y equals kx squared and we can try to solve them simultaneously to see you know where they intersect basically so when we solve these sim two equations simultaneously i can replace the y in one of the equations with what y equals in the other using some sort of substitution so instead of y here i can write kx squared so kx squared is equal to 1 over x squared take away 9 and then i can get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by x squared in which case I get kx to the power of 4 equals 1 minus 9x squared. Okay, just multiplying every term by x squared. Um, <coughs> here the x squared will cancel. And then I've got this equation kx to the power of 4 plus 9x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is of the form of a disguised quadratic. All right, And I can, for example, I can say let um, x squared be equal to, I can call it in a letter like u, for example. Which case, um, then I can say, therefore, x to the power 4 would therefore be u squared. So I can replace the u, x to the power 4 with u squared. So I have k u squared plus 9u, instead of x squared, I'm going to write u, minus 1 equals 0. And it looks a bit more familiar now as a quadratic equation. Now, I want to find the case where there will be two solutions to this. So I'll, have, I'll end up with u equals two different values. Therefore, um, I can end up with four solutions because I'll have u equals something and u equals something. So this will be x squared equals something and x squared equals something. And I'll have two solutions from this and two solutions from that. Okay, that's how I want to, it to work out. All right, so basically, if this has two solutions... If this has two solutions, then this will have four solutions. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. So now, let me just um, 
we know that this will have two solutions, two distinct solutions, when b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, okay, when it's positive. And the discriminant is greater than zero for a quadratic, you get two distinct solutions. So here your a is the coefficient of the x squared, which is actually u squared here. So a is equal to k, and b is equal to 9, and c is equal to negative 1. So b squared will be 81 minus 4 times a, which is k, times c, which is negative 1, and that has to be greater than 0. So I have 81 plus 4k is greater than 0, which means that 4k must be greater than negative 81, so k is greater than negative 81 over 4. So when k is greater than negative 81 over 4, this has two solutions, which means this has four solutions, which you can see, but we also know that k cannot be positive. If k is positive, all right, then this curve will turn in this direction, and there's no way they will have more than two solutions. Okay, they only have two solutions when it's in this direction here. So we know that we've got to combine this answer together with this answer. Okay, so we can say that k must be um, must be greater than negative 81 over 4 and less than 0 for this to have four solutions. So those are the values, or this gives the values of k, which will give us four solutions in this problem. And that solves this problem, which is part b of question 10. And this is the last question on this paper. Okay, and other questions from this January 2022 Pure Mathematics P1 paper can be found on the playlist that should appear in this area over here. You can also subscribe, yeah, well, you can subscribe to my channel from, from this link over here. You can also find other questions to do with this topic, which is, I guess, to do with um, graphs or functions, which can be found in this um, place over here. And this, you can find other questions about gr uh, sketching graphs and graphs of functions in this uh, playlist over here. And on the card at the top of the video, which has been appearing from like the beginning, you'll find links to other papers you might want might find interesting or you might find useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.